Friendly forces are closing in on the town of al -Kariatan. The enemy have constructed a series of strong points on the roads leading into the town. Air Force helicopters are tasked with destroying these strong points to soften up the defenses prior to the ground assault. Welcome aboard my MI-24. As enumerated in the briefing, the mission for today is to soften up the defenses around al -Kariatan. So let's get in the air and get to it. I'll get the aircraft trimmed for hovering ground effect. I will release the brake and pull up on the collective very gingerly. Lift off into a hover. And start the transition to forward flight and take up the heading of 135, which should take us straight to the objective. So we've got some speed on and we're climbing. Put gear up. And just get nicely trimmed for forward flight. It's a relatively short trip over to El Cariatan, so it shouldn't take us very long to get there. You can see it on the map down there. It's about 35 kilometers away. So, very short trip indeed. And once we're trimmed and up to speed, which we more or less are now, I will initiate the process of arming the weapons. I will have Petrovich, or Syrian equivalent name, sitting in the front to arm up, and I will flick the necessary switches as well. So fire control... See, that's the machine gun rate of fire. Fire control goes to on. Automatic insertion of range. I'll go for a short burst length, that's for the cannon and the rocket. Sight is on, sight into automatic mode, and that should be everything ready to go at our end. We have a look out to the sides, it's sort of visible. We are carrying four Sturm ATGMs, and you can't quite see it because they're on the inner pylons, but we are also carrying two pods of S8 rockets, a sort of medium weight of fireworks that we're bringing along this time, but hopefully adequate to deal with the target or targets that we may find, since this is a slightly open-ended mission. At any rate, we are trimmed and on our way. The map indicates that we're slightly left of track, so I'll bear right a little bit and just sort of mind my navigation as we head southeast, but we're going to carry on and head for our objective. The town of al Kariatan is heaving into view as we cross over this ridgeline here. Now, as mentioned in the briefing, our targets that have been specifically set out for us here are strong points on the roads leading into the town, so we're going to check those first. That hill is slightly irritating, but I think I could just about see over it. So we've got the road going into town here. I will have... The gunner, take a look at that. Not sure why we've got that ring around the reticle there. Interesting. And... He has spotted a BMP. Also, road outpost and an infantryman. A truck with a Dishka, a truck with a ZU-23. I'm not sure we'll have the cleanest shot on that. I think the BMP is the obvious target for now. So if we are in range, we will take it out. Fire. Struck today. Eh? Uh, climb a bit and pull to one side. It might be obstructed by that power line there. How about now? Yep. He's good to launch. And once that missile's hit, I'll peel off and duck behind this hill, probably. Target destroyed. And reset for another attack. Observe off. Target's destroyed. Observe off. 
put out some flares as we peel away, just in case there might be some man pads down there. And I'll pull back to the ridge line and reset for another run. Given the number of obstacles in that town, it may be necessary to mount attacks from relatively high altitude, by which I mean like 300 meters. So, we might be balancing some risk with the need to complete the mission there, but so it goes. I'll proceed straight just a little bit longer and then turn around. Okie dokie. Reset for another run. And climb a little as we come around. Stay coordinated. And looking back towards that checkpoint again, or outpost, whatever. Let's see what he can spot. I hesitate to call the gunner Petrovich because it doesn't seem very Syrian, but... I'll uh, have to arrive at some other name for him. Okay, a truck with a dishka I don't think is quite worth the ATGMs, so I'm not really going to fuss about that. Uh, where are the other roads into town? Is there one there? See anything? Okay, slightly more interesting. He's got a BMP T55 truck with a ZU-23. I'm willing to Treat as a priority target since it's an anti-air threat, so we'll hit that next. In range. In range, but can you actually draw line of sight to it? No. Okay, well, I'll climb a little bit more and hope that it doesn't shoot me. Launch. There we go. Oh yeah, I can see it in front of the sight now. Uh, I might try to reduce my speed a little bit, actually. I don't want to get too close. Oh, target destroyed. Target's destroyed. Ooh! See, we did get into range. It fired a couple of rounds at us before we hit it. Yeesh. Ooh. Those will be our friendly ground forces closing in for the attack down there. Uh, hopefully seeing us overhead is good for their morale. Yeah, some tanks and BM-21s, which have probably been firing into the town. Presumably they'll be going in soon. So I'll hold this line. A line, it looked like um, most of the remaining targets that the gunner could see were on the west side of the town, so I'll make a bit of a wide arc to give us a slightly better angle of approach towards those. And what do you see? Just looking at that end of the town. Okay, T-55, BMP, then a bunch of infantry and some fortifications. Well, I think the T-55 is the logical next target, so that's all good. Uh, does he have a good line of sight on it? I might get a little higher just in case. Fire! Alright, we got it! That's all good. Flares out. Okay, I probably don't need to bank quite that sharply. But still, get behind the hill. may make this another slight arcing turn, given the part of the town where we were seeing most of the targets. So I'll head generally northwest. So we're back over to the ridgeline, we'll turn around and reset for our last ATGM run. After that we'll close in and uh, shoot up anything soft looking with the rockets and the cannon. 
So, elegant climbing left turn. And this time I'll bring my speed back a little bit as we close in, just so that we're not getting unnecessarily close to the pricklier targets, although hopefully we've dealt with most of those by now. A trim for a slightly slower speed. And look at that west side of town and see what you can see. I'm not sure why we've got that ring on the outer part of the reticle. I feel like that's not usually there. But whatever. Okay, so the only vehicle that we can still see is a BNP. So... We'll shoot that. I feel like he probably doesn't have great line of sight to it though, so I'll climb a little. I don't want to get too much higher than about 300 meters though. Alright, can you actually see it? He seems to think he can, so... We'll see about that. And then after that... We'll do a rocket run. So we've got the road outpost. Seems like a good enough target. Okay, yeah, I can see where it is. So. Coming fire. Whoa! Okay, I think there must be another anti-aircraft gun down there. Well, that might put paid to my idea of closing in and using the rockets, at least just now. Or at the very least, I'll have to move in at lower altitude. I feel like... Hmm. Tell you what, I'll reset and have the gunner take a look and see if he can spot where it is. And then we'll make a plan from there. So, pulling back to the ridge line again. That should be far enough. Climb up. Get up to a high altitude where he'll probably be able to see it. And just look at the center of town, I guess. There is another anti-aircraft gun. I'm kind of going to be kicking myself that I didn't make it a bit more of a priority target for our ATGMs. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so... It's right in the middle of town, eh? Well, if I stay low, it shouldn't be able to draw a line of sight on us, so I'll make my rocket run from lower altitude, I think, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, and the other thing I will do... Yeah, 16 series of flares so that we can basically just put them out continuously while we're making the run. Alright. Level off at about 50 meters to make the rocket run. Okay, 60, whatever. Focus on the site. Spray down that road outpost with rockets. Break off before we get too, too close. And stay nice and low to break line of sight for any guns that might be pointing at us like that! Green tracers! Well, at least that's not 23mm, because it would be red tracers. It's probably that Dishka on the truck in town. Well, maybe that'll be the next target. Alright. Should be far enough away. Do not have to worry about something of that caliber hitting us. Sort of turn around and reset behind this hill here. And I'll have uh, the gunner take a look to spot that for me, and then I'll go in and hit it with the rockets. And I'm going to put my burst length to medium, because I feel like that's kind of the number of rockets we need. 
Killed a lot of speed here. I probably don't want to lose too much. Alright, Macy, what do you see? Okay, I need a little more speed than this. Uh, truck with Dushka. Okay, I sort of see where that is. Should be able to hit it. Oh yeah, I see the white paint. Hopefully that's not a civilian car anyway. I don't think it is. Okay, rockets away. I'm not sure if we hit it or not. Uh, we'll have to see about that on the next pass. Anyway. Let's hold level for a little longer than turn around again. I'm, I'm approaching my limit, I think, for the number of passes I want to make on these targets. In general, uh, lingering over a target area for a long time is considered unwise. But uh, at the very least, I'll use up the last of the rockets, and if there are any particularly soft targets, I'll maybe hit them with the cannon. Alright, what do you see? Target surge. Uh, all he sees now, jeez, oh, are you sure that, Looking for targets. Yeek. okay, so it should just be the road outpost on this side of town now, so we'll hit that, fire, that looked decent, hopefully that'll have sprayed down any of the infantry that were around it, which I think he was also kind of spotting. I'm not sure if that was the last of the rockets or not. It felt like we'd probably use them all up. We'll see. I'll make one more run, I think, on any additional targets. And if there are rockets left, we'll use those. If not, hit whatever it is with the cannon. Uh, we're on high rate of fire, medium burst length for that. That should be fine. Okie dokie! Wheel around. Ooh, I shouldn't have turned the rudder like that. Pedals, whatever. What do you see? Come on. Uh, truck with a dushka. Where's that? On the far side of town. Eesh. Uh, okay, in that case I'll hook around and hit that from the other side. I think. So I'll just follow the hill here. See if I can actually spot it myself. It was at the far road, I think. Maybe. Eh. Quite see anything yet. Well, I'll have the gunner take a look. What do you see? Can I get search? What do I see while well, I'm at it? A uh, truck with Dushka behind that tree, allegedly. Okay. Well, I can sort of make out where that is. I don't want to get too high, because uh, an aircraft gun might draw... draw... Speaking of which, draw a bead on us. Yeah. Okay. I think we've blocked its line of sight now. We're getting uncomfortably close. Any rockets left? No. Cannon. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, this is very dangerous, but... Bugger it. Okay, I don't see it. And we're taking fire, so I'm gonna break off. Uh... Oh, I think now I kinda see it. Oh, let's duck behind this terrain here. We took a few hits there. Uh... Check the enunciator panel. Probably no serious damage, since we don't have any lights illuminated. Okay, well now that I see where it is, we're going to attack it from the west. I'm going to hit it with the cannon, and then we're going home. Alright, where are you, you bugger? Don't expose yourself to that AA gun, wherever the... Ah! Oh, no, that's from the Dushka. Bugger, I still can't see it. Getting too close. Break off. Okay. I'm going to try this one more time. After that, he's just going to have to be the one that got away. Uh, maybe I'll come from a different angle and see if that makes a difference. Uh, probably far enough away. I think so. Do a little teardrop turn here. Hopefully that puts us at a sufficiently different angle. Trying not to exceed 45 degrees of bank too much, because that seems excessive. Okay, I'm going to pop up briefly, not long enough to expose myself to the anti-aircraft gun. Okay, so we've got... No, I can't see the bugger. Oh, maybe now? Is it that truck there? No, that's, that's, that's not what I told you to do. I don't see it. I see the wreck of where that T-55 was. He doesn't see it either. Oh, it's over there. Okay. You know how I said one more run and then I'm giving up? I'm not giving up. That truck is dying today. Because now I can sort of see where it is. It's down the road, uh, sort of southeast from that outpost. I think. Oh yeah. He's just giving himself up with his tracers. I'll at least spray that area with the cannon. I don't know if I have clear line of sight to the truck itself. I think I got him. I got something anyway. Uh, yes, that's the truck. All right, well, my luck has already been pushed way too far. So let's egress and head back to Sherat. Uh, heading back to base is approximately 315, and it should be easy enough to navigate to visually. So I'll just take up that heading initially. And we will get out of here. We are back at Sherat. And we're going to land where we took off from, which is on that ramp over there next to those MiG-21s. And I'll do my very best to avoid the lamp posts behind them. This may make for a slightly interesting landing, but there you go. We will decelerate slowly and smoothly. No need to make a screeching halt combat landing. Because the aircraft... Uh, doesn't love those, and I'm not very good at them either. I've gotten kind of okay at them in the MI-8, but uh, 
this uh, aircraft calls for a lighter touch. Especially on landing. Anyway, that speed is coming back nicely. And I may land slightly closer to the middle of the ramp just to avoid those lamp posts. I don't want to throw that fishtail into them or anything, especially given how visibility to your front and below is not great in this aircraft. And also, I may not mind terribly much which direction I'm facing in when we land. There isn't much wind today, so I might just land perpendicular to the MiGs, or at the very least make my approach that way, and then sort of... Yaw on the spot. Yeah, I'll do that. It's more elegant. Okie dokie. Come into a hover. And set her down gently, it says. And it's pretty gently. Brakes on. That's going to be about it. I hope the mission was at least somewhat interesting to watch. Do let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for future missions. That's going to be all. Thanks for watching. Ooh.